I'm now at the very end of the process. I hand over to the system administrators to format the devices with the file system, create the mount point and bring it in to use. And I'll need root privileges to do that. This is a perfectly normal MKFS command. Minus T for type, type ACFS. I don't have to use ACFS as the file system type. I could use ext3 or ext4 or even NTFS or FAT32. But I'm going to use type ACFS to enable some of the more advanced capabilities. One of which I most definitely want to enable is the replication from one node to another, because I'm going to mount vol1 on one node and vol2 on the other node, so I can replicate data between them. That's where the minimum size of 4 gigabytes comes in. Uh, it requires at least that to ensure there's enough space for logs of changes. If you're not using replication, you could create smaller volumes than the 4 gigabytes I used. In the real world, of course, these volumes are going to be many gigabytes big. So that's formatted vol1. Then I'll do the other volume, also with the ACFS file system. Then I need to create a mount point onto which I can mount the file system. So on this node, my Madrid 1 node, I'll create MNT vol1 and mount my first file system. A perfectly normal mount command. Mount, file system type, ACFS. There's the device driver with its numeric suffix. And I'm going to mount it there on MNT vol1. DF minus H. And there it is, a 4.2 gigabyte file system, like any other. I'll go to the other node, just SSH to my Madrid 2 node, and go through the same process there. Create the mount point, and then mount the device on that brand new mount point. And there you see it's there. And that concludes this first tutorial where we've enabled the basic functionality of ACFS. The next step is to enable snapshots, replication, and transparent encryption.